Adding end screens to your YouTube videos not only looks super cool, but it also helps you retain your audience because at the end screens, you're going to have call to actions where they will click something like, you know, a playlist or a subscribe button that's actually going to help you retain your viewers. It's actually going to work a lot in your favor because YouTube loves to reward channels for keeping people on their apps. So when they're bouncing one video to the next, it's actually going to be able to grow your channel to each other relevant audiences. Hi, my name is Brady and I'm going to be showing you guys how you can actually create your own super cool end screen with an online video editor that's completely free called in video before we get started if you are new here though make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button smash that bell icon so we can continue to bring you amazing content with that being said let's get started First of all, let's all understand that YouTube actually has its own default end screen templates where you can actually mix and match them if you would like. I'm going to go ahead and leave a link to that in the description so you don't necessarily need to make an end screen. Having said that, a well-branded, well-designed end screen is going to significantly prevent drop-offs and is going to increase click rates on your YouTube video. All you really have to do is make sure that the last 10 to 20 seconds of your video is going to be you asking call-outs. For example, subscribe to my channel, click the playlist right here, or you can just have the text and a graphic-based end screen that will play after you're done with the video as it can be seen in this example. This is actually super easy to create. All you have to do is go to nvidia.io. You're going to see this button that says sign it up. It's completely free. Like I already said, go ahead and plug your information in there and you're going to be greeted with thousands of free templates that are customizable for all your branding needs, colors, fonts, templates, you name it. It's all there. Once you have signed up, you're actually going to be greeted with this screen. It's going to say pre-made templates. You can go ahead and search up anything you want. For example, gaming, music, something like that. I'm going to go ahead and go with gaming and just hit the search bar and you're going to be greeted with these results. Once you're scrolling through it and you have actually found a template you want to use, all you have to do is click it and then you'll actually see that it'll bring this menu up. You just want to hit use this template and it'll actually bring you right into the NVIDIA editor. With this end screen, it actually starts off with like, share, and subscribe, covers all that, and then you're going to see that these are just going to be simple default placeholders. You can actually feel free to move these boxes around if you do not like the positioning of them. I'm going to show you guys a little bit later on YouTube how you can actually put things in these boxes like playlists, next videos, things of that nature. It is actually worth noting that in those two boxes, you can put tons of different things for your YouTube end screen, things like channels, videos, recommended videos next videos uh, the subscribe button there are tons of things you can throw in these end screens so you really want to think of the most organic way to actually keep your viewers watching things that you know or that you would think that your viewers would want to actually click on you can also go ahead and click on any one of these elements and it'll actually bring up an edit menu on the right side for example this font you can change if you'd want to I'm not gonna mess it with this template as much because everything seems to fit pretty well but with other templates things are really really customizable you can also feel free to go on the left side and add things like stickers where stickers are going to give other call to actions let's say to a different social media page there are tons of things that are really really plug and play just remember click on them and the edit menu should pop up on the right side once you are done with that all you have to do is click download and share it's going to bring up this export menu where you click export then the clip will actually start exporting for you to download and then i'll show you guys how you can actually put that in your youtube videos all you got to do is go to your browser this is my youtube channel go to the top right hit create upload a video and this is where you're going to actually put your video in with the outro that you just attached and then once you've had hit upload you will see that it is uploading in the bottom here it says about 27 seconds left you cannot actually mess with your end screen until the video is completely uploaded so this is where you can do everything else while you wait once you are done adding your details and the video is done uploading you want to click next once this will bring up the monetization page hit next one more time so you hit the video elements page this is where you'll see it says add an end screen now you can import it from a video this is for when after you are done setting up your end screen and you don't want to monkey with it anymore and you want every other video to be the exact same end screen we just did so we're not going to worry about this one right now but we are going to hit add and you will see that when you hit add here it'll automatically show you some different elements you will see that there are tons of default templates to choose from even the one from your latest video but if you want to make it completely customizable all you have to do is click on this element button here and you will see that you can add things to your liking but I'm going to go with the two videos for my end screen. When I click this, you will see that it is automatically imported into the timeline for us, but it's going to be longer than we actually want. This actually goes to about 25 seconds of the ending of our video, which is where I'm still talking about important stuff. I do not want these to pop up. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drag this until I find the spot where the two white boxes that we have on our end screen pop up. So right about here, but now you can see that nothing actually pops up until we get to the part where these two white boxes pop up. The next step, all we have to do is actually just drag and drop these in to perfect fit it once we're done with that all you gotta do is hit save and you will see that the end screen has a check mark right here and all you gotta do is hit next go ahead and hit next again and then you can go ahead and publish your video the end screen is added perfectly if you guys did enjoy this video make sure you of course smash the like button go ahead and subscribe to our youtube channel and hit that notification bell if you guys need any more help with this i'm gonna go ahead and throw a video somewhere up here for you because we have talked about this before but with that being said i'm brady with a video and i'll catch you guys in the next one